everyone. Happy Monday. The 4th of July is over. Wah. No more holidays for a while. Actually, Utah has the 24th of July off. Well, it's a state holiday. Um, because that's when the Mormon pioneers settled here. So we get that day off. So that's just like the 4th of July. Fireworks everywhere. It's awesome. So, anywho, I am on my way to the grocery store. I have to mail a package back to QVC. Oh my gosh. I ordered the Paracone Face Day Cream and Night Cream. It was on a great special deal so I ordered it and let me just tell you I got that face cream the night cream is wonderful the face cream it smells so bad and I didn't bother to look up the reviews before I ordered it so I looked up the reviews and everybody says the same thing okay it stinks so bad you guys it smells truly like a rotten fish it smells like ammonia and rotten fish. No joke. No exaggeration. I'm not kidding. And it's not just a, a faint smell or a soft smell. It's a strong in your face, slap your face across the face with a dead fish and a jug of ammonia. It is the stankest. And I thought, oh, if it works, I can put up with the smell. I can put up with the smell. The first two days I put up with the smell. This morning, I just could not put up with the smell. I just could absolutely not do it one more day. So it's on my face right now. And I actually like the way my face looks. It's supposed to firm it and brighten it. And it looks quite nice after only three days. But you know what? For that money, I won't even tell you how much I charged for that crap. But... It is so not worth the smell. I will use something else. I, I will not ever put that fish crap on my face again, ever. I'm in my car. Honestly, it looks like it's gonna rain. It's supposed to be only 88 degrees today, which is wonderful, and it's totally cloudy. If it rains on my new car and I haven't even really driven it yet, I will die. Check it out. I have a rear view camera. I'll probably always forget to use it. And I'm totally afraid of getting the doors dinged at the store. You know, it's like I could park far away and some a-hole might come along and key it just because it's new and I deliberately parked far away. Or I can park in a normal spot and it'll get dinged. My Subaru has been dinged from Walmart, grocery stores, wherever, so many times. I'm at the store, and they're not mailing packages today unless they're stamped. So I had to lug my packages back out to the car and come on back in to go shopping. <laughs> Need bread. Okay, we're gonna see my new car. She better not be dinging my car. Well, that was fun. I'm all, she better not be dinging my new car. No dings. No things or dinglings. I am home, I swear. Okay, it's only like 85 degrees outside or 82 or three, something like that. But it is so humid that I swear I'm dying. I had to turn the air conditioner on full blast and I was still wringing wet. I, I don't know how everybody back east and in the south, I don't know how you can handle all that humidity because I'm dying. It's probably like 30% humidity here or less, but I'm still I'm still sweating like a pig All right, so here's just my tiny tiny grocery haul nothing major Bought some more cottage cheese. I'm going through this like crazy 
because I'm having the Cool Whip with it mixed with the strawberry jello. Oh, so flipping good. I bought some more ground chicken. I need to split that up into thirds or halves and stick them in the freezer. I bought some mozzarella cheese because tonight I want to make that um, that zucchini lasagna. My stepdad gave me a bunch of zucchinis out of his garden and he gave me a zucchini lasagna recipe and it sounds amazing. I bought some Lando Frost hunted turkey. I usually get, oh, I forget what kind, um, but anyway, well, they were all out of what I usually get, so I got this. They were all totally out of lunch meat, so got that, got some bread, got another head of lettuce, some more eggs. I got some more panko crumbs because for the zucchini lasagna, I have to um, slice them and put them in panko crumbs and then fry them in a pan with butter. I bought some Bisquick. Um, not only for pancakes, but for other recipes. And then I bought some tomato sauce because also I need tomato sauce for the spaghetti or for the zucchini lasagna. And then Daryl really likes this chunky chicken noodle soup. And then this one looked good. A savory chicken with white and wild rice. It's got corn in it, so it's got to be good, yo. And then another one of these for Daryl. That's it. That's that's my grocery haul. So I need to take out a, some hangar so I can have um, zucchini lasagna. Oh, and I got watermelon too. Don't know if I mentioned that. Oh yeah, and bananas, and grapes. I got some grapes. Now that looks good. I haven't bought watermelon in a long time. Because every time I buy it, it's not ripe. Mm. This one's ripe. Mm. I know it's cheaper to buy the actual whole melon, or even half a melon, but I can't eat all that. Mmm. Mmm. I'm starving. Mmm! And what snack lunch is complete without onion rings? These are so good. Even when they fall down your shirt, they're still good. Mm. So, I want to go to Dollar Tree. Because I haven't been for maybe a week, maybe longer, but I don't know. Alrighty, we're gonna go to Dollar Tree now, but I'm gonna take my Subaru because it looks like it might rain and I just don't wanna get my new car dirty. I know my anxiety is so bad that I'm afraid to drive my new car. Oh, okay. We're driving in the Subaru. I feel so much better. I don't know. I'm just a freak. I am a freak! But see, look. Look down there. It's cloudy. And that's where I'm going. And I just totally heard thunder. So, I'm justified. Look. Can you see the raindrops? It rained a little. Well, it sprinkled four drops. Ah! I'm just leaving Dollar Tree and it's totally raining. I'm so glad I did not bring the new car. Woo! Eh? Did I tell you? 
Huh? Did I know what I was talking about? Yes. I'm home and it stopped raining and it's nice and cool, a little humid, but that's okay. So I just did my Dollar Tree haul, so if you want to see what I got, you need to go see that video. Actually, here's a here's a quick glimpse. Um this is my tripod holder. <laughs> this made it a little taller, so yeah, that's what that is. That's what that's all about. Um, I got these Russell Stover coconut candies. They're good. I opened one in my video. They're exactly like a mounds. But these are better. They're a little thicker. Um, they have more chocolate surrounding them than the mounds. These are tasty. I have to eat these in little bites. And I always get chocolate all over the place. I'm making my zucchini lasagna. So first thing I'm doing is just browning my meat. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just following the recipe my stepdad gave me and just kind of playing it by ear. Okay, I have fried my first layer of zucchini. I'm not going to do all the way. I'm just doing a little one. I don't know. Here's my other batch. Here's that batch. I'm not, I've never done this before. Yikes. So I guess I'm just supposed to do a layer of zucchini a little bit of sauce. I guess you could use spaghetti sauce, but I'm just using tomato. And I seasoned my breadcrumbs and my hamburger with onion salt, onion um, seasonal, and what else? Pepper. And then I seasoned my breadcrumbs with that too. Then a layer of hamburger, and you don't have to put the hamburger in if you don't want meat. And then a layer of mozzarella cheese. And then repeat. I only, I only really need to do this one layer because we don't need it to be lasagna, but I'll layer it. Okay, I'm supposed to bake uncovered at 325 for one hour okay okay I just took it out of the oven I did not cook it for an hour it's been 35 minutes and I think that's plenty but and he said to leave it uncovered but now the cheese is all hard so I'll probably put more cheese on it to make it soft but it looks pretty good I'm gonna taste it Mm. Oh, good. Mm. That's a thumbs up. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Good. I just did two layers of zucchini. Mama, back up. Hey everyone, welcome to closet time. It's seven o'clock, it's early. Um, from now on, I'm gonna try to end the vlogs at an early hour, say seven o'clock, because it just takes extra, extra long to upload a video anymore off of my phone. Um, we have Comcast and we kind of downgraded because we took out our phone line and so we just, we don't have a landline anymore, so we just have the basic internet. And we think that's why my uploads are slow now, because it never used to be this slow until we downgraded. So, yeah. But when I'm at my brother's house, I can upload a 15 minute video in like 10 minutes. So when I'm at my brother's house, 
I'll make sure to do like a half hour vlog because it'll only take me 20 minutes. But here at home, I have to keep them short and sweet and I have to upload early because it's going to take, this is like a 15 minute vlog and it's going to take like an hour and a half, which is ridiculous because I uploaded a seven minute vlog today or a Dollar Tree haul and it took 40 to 45 minutes. One of those two. I can't, I was so mad. Mm. Got this at Dollar Tree and I got this at Dollar Tree. They just smell so good. I can only smell them like through the box. So I can imagine what they smell like when you open them. But I just opened a bar of Dove. So as soon as that one's done, I'll open one of these. Oh, I'm so excited about my soap. Excuse me, I just finished eating dinner. That was really good. That zucchini lasagna was really good. Um, sadly enough, I think I used stale panko crumbs because it tasted stale. I didn't taste the crumbs before I cooked with them and yeah, they were kind of stale. And I bought fresh ones today, but I thought, well, I'll use my old ones. So if they weren't stale, that would have been an awesome dinner. Daryl had seconds and so that's really good. Um, it was really tasty. And I think next time I might use a spaghetti sauce, like from a jar, rather than just plain tomato sauce because of, it has a little bit more flavor and it's a little more sweet. Um, I did add onion salt, pepper, seasonal, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So it was really, really good. Um, and you don't need to bake it for an hour. I get you could, but put foil on it if you're going to do that because yeah your cheese will get dried out um but yes it was good lola watson hi hi lola come on in hi big bell so anyway yep today was a great day <laughs> when i got home from dollar tree it rained so so hard when i wasn't vlogging it poured for a long time. So, first of all, our grass got watered. Thumbs up. Raise the roof. And second of all, I did not, I did not dirty up my new car. No, 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 no. You are... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to sing a song on my microphone, but she took off. Come here, Lola. Let me sing you a song in your my microphone. Whatever. All right. Well, I got to go now. Tomorrow, I don't have any plans. Oh, and today, just so you know, I also washed the sheets, changed the sheets, and the, washed all the blankets and pillowcases. And I love that feeling. A fresh bed. So... Yeah. Tomorrow I don't have anything to do. Oh, I need to go to the store and get a prescription and mail a package back to QVC. I need to mail my fish face cream back to QVC. So, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope you had a great day. And I hope you have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good night. Mwah. I'm still... Sweating like a pig!